Now, don't get me wrong, there's definitely some exposure to it, especially on the mechanical engineering and controls engineering side of things. I feel like electrical engineering probably has the least. A lot of times, electrical engineer designs, and you know, maybe they get red line drawings from some guy on the floor, but he never actually goes out on the floor. And same thing with mechanical, it really depends on the, the company. And that's another kind of topic I want to get into in this video, and I kind of have other videos that pertain to this as well. Um, but your company dynamics is, is definitely gonna play a big role in this but with mechanical engineering you may get your prints somebody starts assembling the product and then maybe there's some errors in the mechanical drawing they redline it they send it to back to the mechanical engineer again so in those instances if you work at a company like that like you'll almost never get any floor time at all uh, same with same with controls engineering you might be the guy up there developing a lot of the code and then you kind of pass it off to a guy who's on the floor on the shop floor who kind of finalizes the code and, and kind of does debug and does some more of the uh, finalizing processes. Uh, now, controls engineering, I feel like, definitely gets involved and carried throughout more of the process. So uh, a lot of times the guy writing that original piece of code is the guy implementing on the floor, is the guy going out on the installs and, and doing the commissioning. Uh, but now, that's kind of what my background is in, is in the controls engineering side of things, programming things from the ground up to doing the commissioning and whatnot. And, and I'm going to keep diving back into this over and over again. A lot of it's going to matter on the dynamic of the company that you work for. So if you work for a massive company, they're going to segregate these things more for efficiency's sake. Uh, it's highly unlikely that you're going to go into a company that's massive that's going to have like a mechanical engineer that follows a project all the way through to the end or at least like getting involved on the ground level and on the shop floor like maybe they go down every so often take some measurements of some things and things along those lines uh, maybe have a meeting and stuff about like hey this is what needs to change blah blah blah, blah. but for the most part you're not going to get uh, highly involved on a day-to-day -day basis maybe a once a week basis if you're lucky. Whereas if it's a smaller company, you're going to be getting a lot more exposure to it. You're, you might be the guy mechanically engineering it and assembling it, which are for some companies two completely different job titles that never see the light of day to each other. 